everybody, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm here to share with you guys a new easy DIY with everything you can pretty much get at the Dollar Tree. Now they do also sell the paint and they also sell the glitter if you guys want to buy it there. But uh, I really enjoy this. Um, I got the spoons and everything at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this. But I think this is awesome little spoon mirror. So let's get crafting. So the items that you guys need for this project is some cardboard. Um, try to get at least some cardboard that's somewhat an even square size. So I have some cardboard from a display that I have. You guys will need a mirror. Now you guys can choose whatever mirror that you want. This is from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to pop this right out of the frame. I know some people use smaller uh, mirrors, but I want one that is useful. We also have some glitter. Now I got this glitter. This is extra fine glitter. I got this at Michael's. I used a 60% off coupon. So I got this pretty cheap. And then I actually got some different glitter that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, and what I'm going to do is kind of mix up the glitter because they're kind of a little bit different. And I might add some other glitter to it because I do want to change the project up a little bit. I have some metallic paint. Um, so I'm going to see what works out better with everything. So I got metallic paint. And then I have some Mod Podge. Now this is just matte. It doesn't matter what Mod Podge you use. Um, this is the stuff that I've had for a long time that I want to use up. But uh, we're going to use that to mix in with the glitter. You guys would need either a paintbrush or a sponge brush. I like the sponge brushes a whole lot better. So we got that. And then I have five packages of the uh, spoons. Now one thing I do before I start this project is I like that I use the clear spoons because I'm going to paint one side and then glitter possibly the other. Once I get started I will share you with you guys what's an easier technique. But these are the 48 pack of spoons that you guys can get at the Dollar Tree. Um, these are a whole lot easier and I feel like they're a little bit stronger for my project. So the next thing I'm going to share with you guys is what to do next with the spoons. Okay you guys, so the next thing you want to do for this is make your concoction of the uh, glitter. Now I was kind of messing around with this to figure out what would be the best. Like this paint is very sheer. So what I ended up doing is I just got some like reusable little container that I have and I ended up squirting some. Now I've done about half of one pack of spoons already and I mean I still have a lot left to go. You will need a couple of these sponges because I feel like the, it gets eaten. What we're gonna do is this is just almost, there's still a good, good bit in here but we're just gonna squeeze some paint in. Um, you know, you can squeeze how much you guys want in there. So we got some paint. And then I'm going to put the Maj Paj in. And you're just going to squeeze that. I put way too much in, but that's okay. That's okay. Now we're going to open the glitter up and just kind of pour it in there. You guys can mix and match whatever you guys want to do, but we're going to pour a lot of glitter in there. I have a cap on. I can't get the cover off, so we have the glitter cap on. So we're just going to do this because I have a lot of stuff to make. So we're going to do that. I probably have to add more glitter. I have some other glitter. This one's grape is what the color is. So we're just going to pour that in there. It's a little bit brighter. Um, and then I have some of the glitter that I got at Hobby Lobby. We're going to pour it in there. You just want like a big big thing and then I have just some regular glitter that I had that I got from Michaels. I'm not going to pour a lot in there but enough to just have it you know enough where you can see it and then I just got to pour more of this one glitter in but I got to somehow get this cover off but it just won't come off. Give me one second. Okay so I have more of it glued in there and you guys can mix and match. Now what I would recommend is make a huge batch of this stuff um, because then you have like everything all evenly proportioned. Now it is going to kind of goop up a little bit. That is the Mod Podge working. But you want to make sure you get everything mixed up. Um, the paint and everything. And I'm going to continue adding more to this. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys what to do next. But you just want to make sure everything is all evenly proportioned for this. So let me add more to this because I want this to be a whole batch of it because I have like 200 spoons to cover up. So and if everything's all even then everything will look the same because you don't want to have a little bit of glitter, more glitter on one spoon and then a little bit. So let me add more to this in just a second. 
Okay guys, so I have this all mixed up, ready to go, and I have about enough to hopefully last me throughout the whole project. Um, if I do have to make some more, I'm hoping that, you know, I can make it all the same consistency. So what you're gonna do is just take your guys' spoon and you're just gonna kinda like paint it on. Um, the reason why I added the paint to it is just to make it a little bit less sheer through it because that saves you time then you don't have to paint the back so you just want to kind of paint it now we will be cutting these off the handles i just find this a less mess to do to paint it with the handles so i'm not you know getting my hands all full of glitter and all that fun stuff so you're just going to kind of paint it on you want to make sure that you kind of wipe the back rim you don't want it super chunky and you don't want this super thick now if there is some spots that you do miss that's okay we are going to do a second coat so these have been waiting for a little for our these have been drying you can see that it's a little bit dry when it's not dry it's more of like a it's more of like a a, a a frosted look, but when it's dry, there's no frost on it. Um, so what you're gonna do is just take another coat and you wanna evenly, you know, paint this on. I said, make sure you don't have anything around the edges. Now if you do, it's not a big deal. Um, you can always just peel it off, but you're just gonna do another coat and yeah. So just do another coat, make sure everything's completely covered. Now if it isn't, completely covered you guys will know when it dries up again so i'm just going to continue doing this um and this might take some time you guys so you know don't do it all at once that's why i have a container why i have a cover on it so i can save this so it doesn't dry up um make sure it's a really good tight container so i'm just gonna continue doing that making sure my back edges are not fully like that so pretty easy and then what I'm going to do is I was debating if I was going to keep the ring around the mirror. I'm just going to get rid of the ring. So I'm going to take the cardboard off of this. And my mirror is a whole lot smaller um, than it was. So I got a little bit of a smaller mirror. And then what we're going to do is after I cut them, we're going to start gluing the spoons to the bottom of the mirror, but I wanna continue making more spoons so I have at least enough for the first row. So just wanna give you guys a heads up on what we're doing and we'll check back in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I'm halfway uh, painting my spoons with the glitter. I have had to refill this. Um, one thing I do recommend is you might wanna have a couple different uh, sponges because the sponges get eaten up. Um, this is one that I've used like crazy and it starts to get like a hole in it and stuff. I mean, I could still reuse this, but it kind of sucks. So, and I feel that when I have a fresh coat of this, it spreads a whole lot easier. So what I also learned is, you know, grab a huge fresh chunk and then just sweep it on there and then let it completely dry and then do it again. I feel like it's not as chunky. Um, the ones I kind of started with were a lot chunkier. These are going to be a little bit smoother. Um, and then after I let it dry, I kind of just pick off the back of the, you know, the glue that kind of just stood there. Um, this is not focusing, but uh, that's basically what to share with you guys on that. Um, and I do say it's easier to have the handle on um, this. And the reason is because when you guys cut it, sorry, my camera is going out of focus. But when you guys cut it, you want to hang on to it right here. And these are just regular like tin snips that I'm using. Um, and then you're just gonna kinda just cut it like that. And you just wanna cut them like that. And I should have not cut this because I still have to do a second layer. Um, but I still think this is a pretty, you know, and if they do crack a little bit, that's okay. Um, sorry you guys, my camera's just not focusing. But if they do crack a little bit, that's okay because you will not see it and that's the part where you're gonna glue it anyways. So I just wanted to share with you guys on that. So I have to do another layer of paint and then I still got two more packs left to go. I'm gonna paint at least one more pack for sure um, and then uh, show you guys that. So next thing I'm gonna show you is what to do next. 
Okay, you guys, so what I ended up doing is I have my cardboard and I kind of made a circle. Um, I didn't really need to do that. I mostly just wanted to know where the center of the cardboard was. So what I ended up doing is taking a yardstick and I kind of just made an X. I made sure the paper, uh, the, the cardboard was the same exact size. And then I just made an X with the stick to make my center and then I took some cardboard and I poked holes in it and then I kind of just took the thing around um, but kind of cool I didn't know this but my circle matches exactly to this so that is kind of cool for that so here is a bunch of them I just kind of use these baby formula containers for storage stuff but here is all not all of them but here is about two packs of spoons. I just want to kind of get this started. So as I was showing you guys, they don't need to be super perfect. Um, it's up to you guys what you want to do, but we're gonna take the glue gun and we're just gonna take, you know, take your glue gun and then you're just gonna kind of glue it um, the two sides right here. And then you're just going to, you know, just kind of guess where you want it to be and then you got to make sure you have it even all the way around. Um, so, yes. So we're just going to continue doing this all the way around the mirror. And then we're going to make another level. And you're just going to keep on going. So you want to make these, make sure they're even. Sorry, you guys can't even see. You want to make sure they're even all the way around. And mix up your spoons, like mix the ones up that you started because I've noticed that as I've made these spoons, my technique at painting them has turned out a whole lot better um, than what I did, you know, when I first started doing the spoons. So you're just going to, you know, make sure it's all even like that. So I'm going to continue going all the way around. Okay, you guys, so I have the, all the spoons connected to the bottom. Like I said, you don't have to have it super perfect. There's going to be a lot of those cobwebs. So now what we're going to do is we want to glue this to the cardboard because then what we're going to do is glue the outer spoons to the cardboard. So I'm just going to kind of just take my glue gun and I'm running out of glue because that's always what happens when I plan on using a lot of glue all the time so I'm just gonna press if I have to I'll just yeah so we're just gonna kind of make sure that this is even all the way around and be careful not to burn your finger like I just did um, so we're just gonna make press on that and then continue with the outer shell of the spoons um, yeah. And also don't worry about the mirror getting dirty, you guys. We can totally clean that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take another spoon and you're just going to kind of just glue the bottom of it and you're going to put it like in between the other spoons, okay? Now it doesn't matter if you guys do the lines or not. I just kind of did it to um, kind of eye it up to make sure I do everything evenly. Um, cause then when you're looking at it at a certain angle, you can see that you're pretty much even everything out. Now there are some spots in the spoons that I did miss, but that's okay because with the purple background, uh, with the other spoons, you guys can see it. So, yes. So I'm going to continue going through this and showing you guys when I get to the end. Okay, you guys, so I've already done three layers, uh, three rows of the um, spoons. So if you guys want to do it long, bigger, you can. Um, so far, like I said, this is two packs of spoons that I've done so far. Uh, and I still have this much left for the packs of spoons. So I want to make this a little bit bigger, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Now, this is what it looks like after three layers, so you guys can um, do however size you want. I'm going to make this bigger. I feel like I want to make this bigger since I'm using a bigger mirror. But one thing you guys want to do is you want to put a hole um, wherever you plan on hanging this. 
Um, so I'm going to just put a hole, like this box, is, this cardboard is all evenly squared. So I'm just going to put a hole like right here so I kind of have an idea on where I'm going to put the nail through because we're going to hang this on the wall. So I'm going to make this hole just a little bit bigger. I'm just using a pen. I don't have a right tool with me. But uh, I'm just going to make that bigger so when I do put the um, spoon things back on, I won't cover that hole. I'm going to try to leave that blank. So we will figure that out when I get there. So I'm going to continue painting more spoons and gluing them back on. But this is a very... Uh, it takes a lot to make it, but I think it's going to turn out perfect, you guys. So I'm pretty excited. Okay, you guys, so here it is. Um, I have everything to what I want. I'm still debating if I want to add another row. Um, I have about three rows already. Um, using these is about three packs of spoons, and I do have just a little bit left. So right here, as you guys see it, this is three packs of of spoons which I kind of like um, now I also have like all this excess cardboard I'm gonna cut this cardboard off so you guys will not see it so I'm gonna cut that off I have to use a regular knife to cut it off and then hang it up but otherwise I really like it I think it turned out pretty good um, I love the glitter husband was like I don't know about it and then when he finished it he's like oh I actually like it and then what I also do is I'm just kind of peeling off some of the spoon things and then if you guys do need to touch anything up you can do it um, but otherwise, it is pretty easy to make, and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to cut it up and hang it on the wall. Okay, you guys, so I have finished making the mirror. I did hang this up in my bathroom, but the lighting in there is not the greatest. But I absolutely loved the way this turned out. Like I said, you guys can make it even bigger if you want. Um, but I also have it, you know, here's the crappy cardboard. But here is the spot where I'm hanging it up. I just put some duct tape around it so, you know, the cardboard stays a little bit stronger. But absolutely love this. I mean, you can get most of this stuff at the Dollar Tree. I know they sell glitter. They also have the purple paint, and they sell Mod Podge, so you guys can get all that stuff. But if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know. I'm going to try to figure out more uh, craft stuff that I can do with those spoons since I only used about three packs of them. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next crafter, crafty video. See you guys later. Bye-bye.